Welcome to another GB Studio tutorial. Today we're gonna do farming. We're gonna see if we can do a little bit of, you know, Stardew Valley farming style stuff. And uh, first thing we need to do is make something to plant, right? So here we have a flower, and as you can see, it's gonna grow over time. I also made a seed, because we'll, you'll, you'll need to pick up a seed in order to plant the, uh, the flower. And, whoops, wrong thing. <laughs> These are um, uh, biome sprites for a game I'm working on currently, it's Dwarf. And then I also made a bed because you'll go to sleep in order to make time progress. And just a soil patch for you to plant the seed. Let's get started. Remember to import sprites into GB Studio, all you do is just save um, the file, put the image into the sprites folder of your GB Studio project. All right, so let's go ahead and add the bed. It's going to be an actor. I'm just gonna go ahead and select the bed sprite. <laughs> Damn, that's a tiny bed. Disregard the goblin and the dog. They're not gonna be relevant. All right, so I'm just gonna put it right in the middle of the room for now. Who doesn't put their bed in the middle of the room? All right, so now let's go ahead and add our soil. And you know what? I don't even care. I'm gonna put the soil right in his house. This could be a flower pot or um, I don't know, whatever you want. Okay, now we're gonna create another actor for the seed. Let's go ahead and uh, put that just right in his room too. You know, people got seeds in their room. And, oh yeah, I think I forgot to name these. Seed, soil, and bed. When you interact with the bed, we're going to wanna to increment the day, right? So let's go ahead and search increment. Variable increment by one, perfect. And I already made a variable for this. I'm calling it day. And um, so every time you interact with the bed, the day will increment. But, you know, let's make it seem like something actually happened, right? So we're going to um, uh, have the player wait because uh, it's going to be, be, you know, you're sleeping or something. So we're just going to have the player wait for three seconds and maybe put an emote bubble on the player. I wonder if there's a sleep one. There's a question, love, pause, anger, sweat, music, sleep. There is a sleep. <laughs> yes. So the character is going to sleep. Um, just like in front of the bed, but whatever. If you wanna get fancy, you can make them sleep in the bed by by doing move two. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna do that. Let's do um, move two, and we're going to move the player to the bed. Let's move this red, let's move this red box right over the bed. That's gonna be cool, man. And um, I wonder if I gotta put it here or here, whatever, we'll find out. But basically, um, as soon as you go to sleep, you're going to, it's going to, Let's move the player first. So, um, actually we should ask, ask the player if they want to um, go to sleep. Display text and it's going to be, um, should I sleep? Question mark. All right, so now let's create a new variable um, called sleep. We don't need to display this one in text, so we'll just go ahead and go to one of these. And the, one of the ones that doesn't have a dollar sign and we're just gonna set this to sleep. <clears throat> now, if variable is true, if we want to sleep, that's when we want to do all this stuff. That's when we want the player to move to the bed, and that's when we wanna wait three seconds, and that's when we want the emote to show uh, ZZZ. Actually, we should do that before the wait three seconds. <clears throat> all right, and now the player will sleep for three seconds, and then after that, we're going to want to move the player out of the bed because you can get stuck inside of another actor and not be able to move out. So now we're gonna move the player to, and you could do um, relative. Um, you could do, but I'll, I'll just do this one for now. And then we'll just move the player like over here when, when the player wakes up. All right, let's go ahead and test that. Here we go, we go inside the house. There's my bed. Should I sleep? I think I should. Oh, he jumped on the bed, he says Z, Z, Z. And, and he's done sleeping, <laughs> we got sleeping done. So to make it seem like nighttime, I'm, I, I'm gonna make the screen fade out. And I'm gonna do that right before we wait three seconds. And then, you could have guessed it, I'm gonna make it fade back in. And when the screen fades out, 
and fades back in after three seconds, it'll look like it transitioned it to another day. Here we go, fades out, and after three seconds, it fades back in. I think that's a nice little touch. Okay, so <clears throat> make another actor and put it right on top of the soil. This is gonna be our flower. And the flower has four frames, and right here, if you, um, if I, let me move it actually. If I click through the frames, you can see that it'll look like the flower's grown. So we're just gonna set it to frame uh, uh, zero, and we're gonna put it right on top of the soil. And <clears throat> we need to hide the flower until it's planted. But before we do that, let's take care of the seed. So <clears throat> when you click on the seed, we're going to increment by one. And what are we gonna increment? Let's make a new variable, which is going to be the number of seeds you have. You can even make a very specific um, seed name. Uh, I will, flower one. So, <laughs> so that way you can plant carrots and uh, I don't know, watermelons, whatever you wanna plant. So flower, we're gonna increment flower one by one, and then we're going to hide the, um, we're gonna hide the seed. I think it'd be also cool if we made the character have a emote, a love emote, because he's like happy to find the seed. I don't know, I like emotes. So, if you have a seed, if variable compare with value, so if you have, um, what do we call it? Did we call it flower one? Ooh, that's, that's not a good name for a seed. Let's rename that to um, seed one or flower seed one. <clears throat> seed flower one. Okay, back to the soil. So if seed flower one is greater than zero, which basically means you have more than zero, <laughs> you have at least one. That's better wording. Anyway, so if you have at least one seed, I'm going to add a text and I'm going to say um, seed planted wait a few days and um, you can decide exactly how many days you need to wait you can even make a variable for every seed so you have to wait longer for certain seeds to grow but I'm just gonna make it um, I'm just gonna make it one day for now we should also probably ask the player if they want to plant the seed so let's go to let's do text display text dialog and over here um, it's going to say plant seed question mark and after that we're going to have um, a choice so for that, you can just search multiple. Whoa, what did I just do? <clears throat> so let's go, yeah, there we go. So multiple and then um, just, let's just make that yes and no. We, we will need to make a variable for this. So let's just go ahead and pick one of the ones without the dollar sign because um, we don't need to ever display it in text. So this is gonna be called plant seed. So plant seed is either going to be set to, ye uh, for, to yes or no. And <clears throat> I think we need to definitely ask all this up here. Plant seed, yes or no. And then, of course, you know what's coming next. If variable is equal to true, if plant seed is equal to true, then we're going to check if they have enough seeds else we're just going to display text that says sorry you need more seeds or sorry you need a seed because you need at least one sorry you need a seed all right let's go through that real quick so <clears throat> you walk up to the soil it's going to ask do you want to plant a seed and you're going to choose yes or no if you choose um, yes it's going to check whether you have more than um, whether you have at least one seed and it'll say seed planted wait a few days if um, if you have one and if you don't it's going to say sorry you need a seed so I just realized this but right here after we plant the seed we also need to decrement right we need to get rid of the seed that you just used so search um, decrement by one I wonder if you can search variables that'd be kind of helpful <clears throat> and uh, there we go and we got rid of the seed that you had we need to keep track of whether something was planted here or not. So I'm gonna create a variable that's just named the same as that soil, so soil one, and we're gonna increment that um, <clears throat> for every day that passes after you planted something there. I hope that makes sense. 
So I'm just going to search increment, and and I'm going to uh, pick a new variable, rename it to soil one, and save. So soil one will start at zero. Every variable starts at zero, and now it'll get incremented by one. So if it's not zero, we know you planted something there. Now click on the flower or whatever your plant is, and this is going to check soil one because it's gonna wanna know how many days it's been in that soil so it can show the correct sprite. This is actually pretty simple, but um, I think it's kinda clever. Check it out. So if variable, and we're gonna do compare with value. So if the soil is zero, that means you haven't planted anything there, so we're going to just hide the plant. But we're gonna need to check um, all the other values too, right? So if it's equal to one, then what we're going to do is search set, and you can set the animation frame. And we're gonna set the animation frame for the plant, and as you guessed it, we're gonna set it to animation frame one. The frame starts at zero, so we're gonna set it to one. And that means that the plant grew a little bit. You can see a tiny little image in, <laughs> in, the, in the corner there, so you know what you're um, setting it to. And now we, we just keep doing that and comparing it with a higher value each time. So we compared it with one. I mean, checked it for one. Now we're gonna check it for two. And here we're going to also do set animation frame and make sure you're selecting the plant every time. And here we're gonna go to frame two and then one more time. Oh, whoops, actually the first one needs to be zero. Then the next frame needs to be one after that frame two and three. I, I was off by one. So the plant will grow as long as the soil one keeps incrementing. And that's what we haven't done. And as you guessed it, that's what will happen when you sleep. So let's go back to the bed and here we're going to check if the soil is greater than zero, which means something has been planted there. And if it is, we're just gonna keep incrementing by one. So at the end here, I'm just going to check if, I'm gonna do compare with value, and if soil one is greater than zero, that means we um, planted something, I'm going to increment by one. That's pretty, uh, pretty neat, right? Except it's going to keep incrementing, and the plant, after four, it doesn't really know what to do. So here, if it's, if it's um, greater than four, all we need to do is um, uh, set the um, frame, oops, search set, animation frame, and over here we're going to have the plant be at its maximum frame. So after um, four days, the plant won't grow anymore, it'll just stay on frame four. I mean frame three, it's the fourth frame, but it starts counting at zero. So the code on an actor only runs when you interact with it, and we need the, f the plant to update without you interacting with it. So how do we do that? Click on the bed, <clears throat> and where we increment the soil, we're going to call invoke. What invoke does is it runs the script on an actor without you having to interact with it. So this is exactly what we need to do for the plant. So right after we increment the soil, we're going to invoke on the plant. And if you click on the plant, it's basically just going to run all this script. This is pretty cool but we also need this to run as soon as you enter the scene. So if you click on the scene, all these scripts run as soon as you enter the scene. Disregard those, those are for my goblin and the dog. But I will add another, and what I'm going to add here is the invoke. And I'm going to invoke the script on the plant. That way, every time you come to this scene, It'll update that plant to the sprite that it needs to be on. Okay, so we hide the plant if you haven't planted anything yet, if soil is equal to zero, but we need to show the plant if, um, if it's ready, if it's growing. So go ahead and make sure you add um, <clears throat> show plant to every single one of these. I know it's a little annoying, but you can copy the event and then just do paste event before. And make sure you paste it before we change the frame. I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but I, I think it will. So show it and then set the frame. So I'm gonna put my plant right on top of the dirt and it actually looks right, 
right now it looks like it's behind the dirt, but I think whenever you update um, uh, the, it, whenever you do set animation frame, I think it updates the graphic and puts it on top of everything else. So it'll look fine. It'll look like it's on top. Hey, Velvet Valerina, come play test this. All right, I'm going to the house. All right, so pick up the seed and put it in the soil. Okay. <laughs> Plant seed, yes. Seed planted, wait a few days. Now go, uh, go to sleep. Okay. Should I sleep? Yes. Good night. <laughs> it's a little tiny sprout. Okay, sleep again? Yeah. Okay. Should I sleep? Yes. Sleeping the days away. It's a new day. Wake up bigger. <laughs> sleep again? Yes. It's a little flower. <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? That's super cool. I think it's so cute. Can I harvest it? Uh, I didn't add that yet. <laughs> <laughs> maybe in a, maybe another video. I'm not gonna do harvesting in this video because I wanna keep it short, but hopefully this is enough to get you started on making a farming game or just adding a little bit of farming into your game. There's just one more tip I wanna um, give you and that is create an if statement for the soil where you check if the soil is equal to zero before you ask them if they wanna plant something in it. That way you can't plant something in it if, it's, if, if you already did. I uploaded the project to itch. There's a link in the description. Feel free to use the sprites in the project however you want. Thanks for watching. Thanks even more if you subscribed. If you like game dev stuff or pixel art, follow me on Twitter. See you next week. Dev life.